it was close. We almost didn't bring it. At first glance, it certainly is homely. It's one of my favorite tables and uh, came down through my family that was in uh, Abbeville, Louisiana. Mm -hmm. It's just, just a gorgeous table. I love it. Where is Abbeville exactly in Louisiana? It's, uh, it's about 20 miles south of Lafayette, which mm -hmm. is south of just about everything in Louisiana. Okay. And it's the heart of Cajun country. Uh -huh. And my, one of my favorite cousins that lives down there, his grandpa Moss, worked at this table when he was in the courthouse, I believe, mm -hmm. at the early part of the 19th century. Mm -hmm. Well, it is an extraordinary piece, a very yeah. rare piece of Louisiana yeah. furniture. The thing that is so compelling for me is that it is all made out of this cypress wood. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Which is extraordinary. We see this kind of wood very rarely mm. in Massachusetts, obviously where I'm from. Yeah. Like in New England, where, where we have some of our provincial furniture painted, often in Louisiana in the 19th century, they preferred to have cypress wood furniture painted in color. But oh, okay. I don't believe this one has ever no, been painted. I don't think so. I described it as rough. What's happened to this table? Uh, Grandpa Malls brought it home to his house. And at some point, I think in the early 60s, my father bought it from him. Mm -hmm. I think he paid him 10 or $20, I'm mm -hmm. not sure. Mm -hmm. My dad brought it home and kept it at his house a little while, but then he put it in his barn. And it's been there ever since, till about 10, 10 years or so mm -hmm. ago, mm -hmm. and we ended up with it. So your dad's responsible for the I'm paint afraid, cans, maybe? Uh, he was using it as a storage right. table, well, and I, I don't know if that's paint or from the steel on the yeah, cans, yeah, yeah, but yeah. yeah. So let's look a little bit about the construction sure. of this, because okay. it's got such a French feel to it. Yes, it does. It yeah. really does. And if you pull out the drawer here, you'll see that it's got no dovetails along yeah. the sides here, yeah. which is typical of French uh, country oh, furniture. They cared mostly about the form and what the piece looked like. Yeah. Uh, the other thing I'll point out is these very rare brasses I on the front. I wasn't sure about that. Yeah. yeah. And, and they are brass and, and period to the piece. Okay. Uh, I would date this from about 1825 wow. uh, to 1850. Okay. And very typical of a Louisiana uh, wow. furniture. Yeah. Have you ever had it appraised at all? Oh, no. Not nope. at all. Um, it's sat in a barn for years and years. Uh -huh. Well, I'm so glad you took it out of the barn because yeah. it is a great rarity. And if I were to see this table up at auction, I would probably estimate it in the $3,000 to $5,000 wow. range. Oh. Wow, a, a paint holder. <laughs> no, well, it's no not. No more paint. Uh. No more paint. <laughs> I can't thank you enough. Sure, thanks for bringing it. It's really sure fun thing. to see this. Oh, man, this has been a blast.